type Unity, click the link, then you click this, 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 and this, and this. This is Unity Hub. Here you will have your projects and editor to use. Click installs and find install editor button. Here you can see versions of Unity available. LTS stands for long term support. I suggest you download recommended version with the LTS mark so you won't face any major bugs. If you want to make games for mobile, make sure to check Android build and open JDK. Don't forget to read license term from Google and click install. Once you have it, you go to projects and create new project. Here you can choose editor version, we're gonna choose the latest one. And here are some templates for projects you can use. Choose the one you need and write your project name. Mine will be 2D platformer for YouTube. I'm gonna show you how to create this cool platformer, so if you wanna try to make it yourself, just subscribe so you won't miss any updates on the series. So here it is, you have Unity installed and you can create your first game. Well, before you do that, let me take a few more minutes of your time so I can explain some basics about Unity. This is a project folder. Here you can store your scripts, graphics and so on. This is a real tongue twister for me, but I'm not afraid of the challenge so I'm gonna say it. Hierarchy. In Hierarchy, you can see and control all objects you have in the game. Let's create one of those and it will be just 2D sprite uh, square. Here is a scene window, you can control and change objects in this window. For example, I'm gonna change size of the square. Yeah, like that. And drag it around. Well, it wasn't easy. In the game window, you can see what player will see when he will launch your game. So when you hit play, for example, in a play mode, game window will be open and you see your game as it is. On the right side, you can see inspector. In the inspector you can see different components and you can add them by clicking this button add component. Different components helps to control different properties of the game object. For example if I drag my camera around you can see the transform changes because transform sets position of the game object. If I select my square and I have sprite renderer component I can change its color to red for example. And it is how it is. You create different game objects, you give them different components to control them, and you change your scene from this to this. And if you want to learn more, make sure to stick around by clicking subscribe button. And please give me a comment what you think about this video. It's really important to me, because I'm a new creator and I want to know what I can do better. Peace out, biatch! Bam.